Hello YouTube, this is Genius in Exile, and I was actually uh, washing my jars from the candy that I'd done. I'd done some beef and some ham and some potatoes and carrots, and I was kind of thinking, you know, a lot of times when we do our canning videos, we talk about afterward we're going to take off the rings and wash the jars and put them away. But a lot of people might not know exactly how to wash a jar after it's been canned, so I wanted to show you. What I do is I have a dish here where I keep all my rings, and yes, these are in here dirty. They're actually going to be washed separately, and I have a few more in here I'm missing out. What I've done is I've actually removed the ring from here. I have a little bit of soapy water in here, just like you would normal dishes. You wash these, but you have to be a little bit careful. First of all, when you first take off your ring, you want to check the seal. Make sure it is nice and tight. I'm not doing this very hard. I just want to make sure it's not going to pop right off. Now what you do with the soapy water, you want to get in under these ridges because if there's food under there, that's going to be rotten. And if you take the ring off after the rotten food has festered in there for a while, you might have botulism or salmonella on your hands and therefore contaminate the contents of the jar. So you want to make sure you really get in here. If you need to use a toothbrush, use a toothbrush. Get in there. Just make sure you don't break that seal. And be very careful to check that because I've actually just plunged a jar into uh, some water and the top came off and there was a lot of blueberry jam in that water. So you want to make sure to get under here without breaching that seal. So I actually use a, a sponge just to get in there. And you'll see I'm actually rinsing it pretty frequently just so I can make sure that there's no food under there. And under here. Then you wash the rest of the jar, just like you would a dish, but being careful not to bang that top. Even though you have a good seal on there, you really don't want to mess with it. I'm just kind of going around. The reason why I'm going around and around it a few times is because this is just not something you can mess around with. You really want to make sure you get that food out of those little ridges. There. That looks pretty good. Now let's check it. I'm going to rinse it very carefully. Be careful when you move these jars around. They're heavy and they're soapy and that's pretty slick. So you make sure you look. See this? No food under there. You can see food on the inside of the jar. You know, just right here, a little bit of fat from the beef I've canned or the ham I've canned. You want to make sure there's nothing here. Then what I'll do, put them in my dish rack to dry and then you take the ring what I'll do is I'll actually get the sponge in that little corner and go around that a few times. Around the outside. Make sure there's nothing in there. Then as I wash them, I'll actually put them here. That way they're out of the way. So when I'm all done, I'll take them off. Rinse them really, really well. Then when you put these away, you actually want to put them this way. So if you put them this way, water can get stuck in there and it'll cause it to rest. So here's another one. And when you wash your jars, you actually want to make sure that you take the rings off before your hands get really soapy because it's a lot harder. <laughs> so I have them all set aside. Make sure, once again, I'm showing you to get under those rings or under the, uh, the ridges the threading where the, the rings go. And once you're done with this, and you've washed this jar and you've dried it off, you still want to go over it with a, you know, lint-free cloth or just a dish cloth, just to make sure you've gotten everything. Because I store mine with the rings on, and I want to make sure that there's no moisture underneath there to cause any problems. And we're going to check it. squeaky clean. So there you go. That's how you wash your jar after your canning. Thank you. Take care and prep honestly.